share. And, and thank you to everyone who came out here tonight. Um, and thanks to the Social Development Center for, for organizing this as well. Um, so one, one of the things I just want to say just off the top is um, it, it was great to hear so many people share and be so passionate about what they believe in um, and be very passionate about some of the same stuff that I believe in as well, which is one of the main reasons why I decided to put my name forward um, as a candidate for, for the Green Party. Um, three minutes is not a lot, a lot of time, but uh, I'm going to try to go through um, a lot of the stuff that I, that I kind of heard people say. Um, so um, I didn't get a chance to sit in every session because I sat in some of them a little bit longer than others and chatted with some people along the way. Um, but in the environment one, um, I heard people say that not enough is being done um, to remove single-use water bottles and single-use plastics. Um, it's something that I feel that we need to um, move very quickly on. Um, and the government has an opportunity to be a, a leader in this. For example, government offices can be um, um, can get rid of the, uh, the plastic uh, water bottles. Um, uh, we can increase the amount of water fountains available within our community, including water fountains that have the, the section on the side of them for, for water bottles as well. Um, we heard people talk about how they're frustrated over oil spills. Um, and the companies perhaps should pay a bond to the province since the pipelines go through the province. Um, if there happens to be an oil spill, then that um, bond can be used um, to help clean it up. Um, one of the biggest things I heard is that action is necessary. Um, and politicians need to talk about climate change and the environment um, and more public education around um, climate change and environment. In terms of income security, um, we need to talk, we need to take care of people um, in our province and in our communities. Um, and there's a direct link between um, healthcare and income. Or, yeah, healthcare and income. Um, basic income needs to be implemented right away. Um, and government needs to do a better job of being accountable um, for the dollars spent. Um, and also educating the public as well um, for where their tax dollars are going. Um, we heard people say that um, a lot of people may not know where some of their tax dollars are going. The tax dollars are going to support people um, in our communities that need that money. Um, Sorry, I'm flipping back a little bit. Um, in terms of housing, um, we also heard that um, some of the rules um, might be prohibitive towards landlords um, and, and people finding a house. Um, harder to buy a house now because of the um, income test and puts pressure on the rental market as well. And people also don't know if they can reach out to their MPP for help um, when they need it. And I just got a little flashcard that, that popped up and I didn't get a chance to finish everything that I wrote down. but. Um, and I talked really quickly, so I apologize for that, but thank you again for having me here tonight. <laughs>